This is Matthew Payne, Matthew Robert Payne. This is Prophetic Protocol in the Church, uh, Chapter 9. This chapter is called Seek to Encourage the Church. And it's found in, uh, we shared it in uh, um, Chapter 8, um, but Chapter uh, 9, this is uh, what, uh, based on 1 Corinthians uh, 14, verse 12. And it says, Even so, since you are zealous for spiritual gifts, let it be for the edification of the church that you seek to excel. Okay? Now, uh, the sun's coming up and it's coming through on my face. It's starting to look nice on my face rather than dreary. Um, apparently, now this is some knowledge. If you, you've been following the series, this is some knowledge. Apparently, the uh, Corinthians like the spiritual gifts uh, right into being spiritual. Uh, Paul is saying here that they are zealous, they are really hungry after operating in the spiritual gifts. Uh, Paul says that's a good thing. Make sure you're zealous to edify the church. Make sure you're zealous to encourage the people in the church, the members in the church, May they be encouraged through you. Okay, that's that's what he's saying. Um, in Corinthians, one Corinthians twelve verse one. Now concerning the spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. Paul doesn't want us to be ignorant. The reason for his teaching here is for us to be informed and the reason for the spiritual gifts is for the encouragement of the church eight of the nine spiritual gifts are for the church one of them is for your personal edification the gift of tongues now when the gift of tongues is spoken with the gift of interpretation the whole nine gifts are used in the church and that can happen, it often does, I've often seen it happen. But we're to encourage the church, we're to build up the church. You know, the gift of healing is beautiful, the gift of miracles is beautiful, the gift of faith, to have faith to build a building and have faith for big visions, that's a great gift. Uh, Discerning of spirits is a great gift because you can cast out demons out of people and you can discern wrong spirits in a church and change the atmosphere. Do all sorts of things. All the gifts are to build up the body of Christ, the people of Christ, the church of Christ. If you're seeking spiritual gifts just for a power trip, Paul says you're, you're way off base. Uh, so prophecy is... Uh, when uh, we're talking about prophetic protocol, the gift of prophecy is to build up people, both Christians and non-Christians. It's not for your own personal power trip. Believe me, there's not many prophecies you can do with a wrong spirit. There's, there's not much glory. You can do it for your own glory, but you don't do a lot of good operating in the gift of prophecy if it's not out of love and it's not to edify and build up people. That's just the facts of the matter. Um, so there you go. Um, it's just like me saying, gee, I'm looking handsome. I look at myself in this camera and, and uh, gee, I'm looking handsome. I'm just so great. That's like the gift of prophecy. Uh, when you're trying to do it for your own self-righteousness, you're trying to build yourself up through using the gift of prophecy. Unless it's for other people, uh, it's no good. Uh, I may look good. I may look good in the camera. I may be thinking I'm looking pretty good, but I'm here teaching you. And so uh, prophecy can be rewarding for practicing it and getting the feedback and encouraging people can edify your own spirit. But the gifts are to build up the church. They're not for private glory. Okay, I think we've punched that message home.